Hello and welcome to this uh, presentation. This presentation is going to cover introduction to construction plans and equipment. When you talk about construction plans and equipment, we are talking about uh, the use of machinery in construction and uh, construction plant uh, is a subject that uh, will deal with op the operation uh, using and maintaining building and civil construction machinery as well as plant. This particular unit will also address health and safety regulations related to the use of these various machines. Now before we use construction plants there are various considerations we have to put into account before we acquire or hire a particular machine for a particular use. Therefore, selection of appropriate type and size of equipment will generally affect the amount of time and effort, thus job site productivity of a particular project. There are some reasons as to why we use uh, construction plants and equipment in various construction works. So ideally, number one is that uh, we want to increase the better quality of work, the type of work that we want to produce in construction and its quality. So when we employ uh, different types of machines to eliminate works that was done maybe in uh, different methodologies previously can now be done uh, in quality. Then also, we want to increase the rate of output throughout work progress with the best effective and efficient methods. That is, uh, we are going to achieve high work output when we employ construction plants and equipment. There is also going to be reduced overall construction cost, especially for large contracts. You realize that when you employ these machines for larger contracts, uh, you're going to reduce that period of uh, the entire uh, uh, project at, as well as also to introduce the uh, in, uh, reduce the general cost then to carry out activities which cannot be done manually to do them more economically and much faster as you all know, all know that machines are uh, using uh, engines and therefore engines are able to do much work faster than uh, human labor. We also have to eliminate the heavy manual work by human thus reducing fatigue in construction and eliminating various other hazards and health issues. Then also we are going to maintain the plan rate of production where there is a shortage of skill or unskilled labor to maintain the high quality standards often required by present day design and specifications, i.e. the technical and economical considerations, company specific, site specific, equipment specific, client and project specific, manufacturer specific, and labor consideration. Also, there are those factors that may affect selection before you employ a particular uh, plant to do a particular work on site. What are those considerations that you have to look at widely before getting one? So there is the economic considerations. These economic considerations now depends with the overall cost of acquiring or hiring a plant, i.e. the operational cost, uh, acquisition cost, like the cost of equipment, will affect and will uh, play a big role uh, for a site agent or a site in charge on whether to acquire by buying or acquire by hiring a plant. There is also site conditions. Generally, topography of the area for which you are going to employ this particular construction plant is very important in uh, uh, acquiring a plant. For example, when you talk about over sloppy terrain, we can choose a crawler type uh, machine than a wheel type machine. Then there is the owner client preferences. This is now de depending on the preference of a client or a company on the type of project one is handling. It may be a larger project. Maybe a company does not uh, uh, like hiring more often equipment and they may choose to buy. So 
this may be the preference of a client or a, a, a company so there is the shortage of manpower one reason also why we uh, may employ uh, construction plants and equipment is that uh, there are some works that cannot be done efficiently with the uh, uh, human labor sometimes also there is new human labor uh, but uh, it is insufficient to perform some types of work therefore it may be uh, very important to hire a machine to do this machine numerously and more efficiently uh, as compared to hiring uh, manpower company policy on honing or renting an equipment is a very important factor that also has to be considered because some companies may have regulations and conditions for higher conditions for purchases which will in turn influence the client's uh, choice on whether to buy or choose to hire a plant so generally Uh, there is that performance evaluation work like uh, when you hire these particular types of plants in the job site you have to evaluate constantly the performance so that you utilize maximally uh, this particular machine that has been acquired or hired so performance evaluation will help in the communication between the contractor and the cost customer or the client of the construction project so that the latter can monitor the status of construction. It also serves as a basis of implementing the changes required in each procedure, allowing optimization, efficiency, and enhanced performance of these plans and equipment. So the performance uh, can be evaluated by one, monitoring the processes, so this provides information that enable checking the status of processes and seek to control the activities. The information provided by can be used in the correction of activities to enhance performance of these particular plants and equipment. Also assessing the performance of a project, it is based on the final results of the procedures and can be used as a benchmark for future similar activities or for comparison with pre-established values. Its value is intended to help undertake the general assessment procedure. Generally, that is the introductory part of this uh, topic, introduction to construction plans and equipment. Next, we will be looking at various types and classification of construction plans and equipment. Thank you for watching this particular presentation and like and subscribe. Food for thought. He who opens a school door closes a prison. Thank you and welcome next time. Goodbye.